So from debug log, I learned that to make my basic Hello World application work, I have to install or correctly configure a list of modules. Start with a simple minimal app that uses only those modules that your debug log showed are missing or misconfigured. These modules are more likely to cause APK crashes upon startup. Make sure these essential modules are correctly set up. A properly working build environment is absolutely critical before anything. Dedicate a folder in your build machine for this minimal app. I'm using Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS on Oracle VirtualBox for my Bulldozer build machine. Uh, I'll call this folder My App. It should contain Python script for my basic app and uh, any other uh, files that it needs. Uh, by the way, the file that contains our main Python program should always be named main.py for Bulldozer to work. My basic app, main.py, requires a Kiwi design file for uh, graphical components. It is named my simple app. And sure, the case and naming of this Kiwi design file follows Bulldozer requirements. Other than main.py, and my simple app.kv. There is another file in my app folder, buildozers.spec, which was generated after Buildozer was initialized. Now let us look at the first module that requires a proper setup. It deals with imaging functions, which are important for the graphical interfaces of our app. Check if module pillow, which helps Python handle imaging libraries, is correctly installed. In my case, it was installed, but I still wanted to verify version compatibility with 3.10.12, which was my Python version. Version compatibility is available here. To check the Pillow version installed, run the command as shown on your screen. Mine showed Pillow version 9.0.1, which according to the table here, is compatible with Python 3.10.12. Make sure that Pillow is added to the requirements in buildozer.spec, like so. Next, uh, we need to install Kiwi. Uninstall all Kiwi-related libraries you already have installed. Use a virtual environment for the new install wherever Kiwi documentation recommends this. I strongly recommend understanding virtual environments before installation. Uh, maybe you want to read up this and this. Basically, a virtual environment helps isolating and preventing conflict between different versions of the same package needed by your apps.